if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nicole. I'm a Pilates instructor and a personal trainer. And today I have an all standing Pilates slide workout for you. Now my Pilates slide classes mix more traditional Pilates flows with sliding sequences. They're inspired by my years teaching at B-Tone, which is a studio in Boston. Um, if you're unfamiliar with B-Tone though, think uh, Body Rock, SLT, Solid Core, studios like that which aren't really Pilates, but are based off of the Pilates reformer. So we got a little bit of sliding sequences like that and a little bit of more traditional Pilates stuff. For equipment today, you're going to need a slider. I'm on hardwood floor, so I am using a dish towel. And then you're also gonna want a set of light hand weights or wrist weights. Don't need to go very heavy with them. I'm using two pound weights. Now, normally in my Pilates slide classes, we do stuff down on the mat and then we do some standing sliding work but we're gonna keep class all standing today. So I don't have a mat, I'm just gonna do it on the floor, but you could have a mat just off to the side to stand on, just make sure you have some room for sliding. If you're doing this on carpet, paper plates work well as gliders. So these classes are an endurance challenge. It's a continuous flow, one sequence into the next, um, but they are fun. Okay, so let's grab our weights. We're gonna start with a warm up. You don't need your slider right away. I want you to just let your arms kind of hang heavy by your side, let the shoulders relax so the weights are kind of drawing some traction down. You are unlocked through the knees, you're neutral through the pelvis, tall through the spine. We're just gonna start with some breathing. So as you inhale, I want you to expand into your rib cage. We inhale through the nose. You're gonna exhale slowly out through the mouth. And as you do, the rib cage moves gently in and down. You feel that brace of the abdominal wall. We inhale through the nose. Be mindful that as you inhale, you're not shrugging your shoulders up to the ears. Fill your diaphragm, not your shoulders. Exhale slowly out through the mouth. Feel the little lift of the pelvic floor, the gentle brace of the abdominal wall. One more breath like this. And then let's start to move. So as you inhale, I want you to roll your shoulders up and back, opening up through the chest. As you exhale, I want you to do a shoulder roll forward, and then I want you to nod your chin and vertebrae by vertebrae. I want you to roll forward into a forward fold. Inhale, stack the spine up tall, roll open through the shoulders and chest, a little bit of spinal extension at the top. And then we exhale and we roll it forward, unlock through the knees. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, roll it up. And this time when you come to the bottom, I want you to stay in that forward fold. I just want you to pedal out through the knees, one bending into one and then the other. And as you bend into that knee, you're going to kind of dip that same shoulder towards it. So we get a little swaying side to side. Also a nice opening up through the backs of the legs here. Hamstrings and glutes are going to get a lot of love in our sliding work. So I just want to open them up here. Pedal for four, Three, two, one. I want you to roll up, stack the spine up tall, palms face into midline, bring one arm overhead. And as you exhale, we're just gonna scissor the arms and switch. Stay for an inhale, exhale, switch. We're staying open through the chest. You're gonna give me two more. And I want you to stop with your left arm overhead, right arm down by your side. We're gonna grow tall. We're gonna side bend up and over to the right. And on an exhale, you're just gonna rotate chest towards the floor. Inhale, rotate it up, staying within the side bend. So we're getting a little rotation through the mid spine and an opening through the side body. Give me one more. And then come up, scissor switch the arms, same thing other side, grow tall, side bend up and over to the left. Exhale, little rotation down, inhale up. The hips are staying pointing towards me, so you're not twisting through the hips. It's that mid spine and up. One more. And then I want you to come up tall, keep your right arm overhead and bring your left arm up to meet it. So we're gonna come into some standing core work. I want you to spread out through your right foot and I want you to lean over to the right a little bit so we have the weight on the right side. We are going to march the left knee up on an exhale as we rotate and bring this right elbow towards the left knee. So we're gonna exhale, 
brace through the core. You march up through that left knee so you're mirroring me. Bring right elbow towards it. And then as you inhale, return to start. Exhale, march and twist, stabilizing through that right leg. Bring it back through center. Moving with our breath. So don't rush the movement. It's not about how many reps you get in. It's about sinking the movement to your breathing, feeling that connection to your core. Give me two more. Final time, and then, then I want you to stay in the march. I want you to untwist through the upper body though and bring those weights overhead. Now, palms are going to face forward. On an exhale, I want you to kick this left leg straight. As you inhale, you're gonna bend the knee and you're gonna snow angel sweep the arms down by your side. As you exhale, you're gonna kick the legs straight, sweep them back overhead. Now we are stabilizing through this right leg. Make sure you're not totally locked out through that standing right knee. There's just this little invisible softness to it. Inhale, bend and lower, exhale. Now as that leg kicks straight, I don't want you to tuck under through the tailbone. So don't worry if the leg isn't super high on the kick. It can go down at an angle towards the floor. Twice more, you're gonna hold the leg straight. Next time those arms sweep overhead and the leg kicks straight, you hold it straight. Rotate so palms face into midline. You're gonna lower the left leg as you lower the arms down in front of you, heel taps the floor. On an exhale, you're going to lift, the leg lifts up forward, the arms overhead. Tap that weight on the floor, or sorry, that heel on the floor. <laughs> Don't think your weights can reach the floor on this. So I want you to think breath first, so start with the exhale, feel the brace of the core, then lift the leg up. So the core and the hip flexors are working together. You want your core to fire, feel that brace, split second before the hip flexors fire. You're almost done, just give me two more, we hold. Next time everything lifts up, you're going to hold. Ooh, as I lose balance. Weights overhead, leg is forward, stay tall through the spine. Can you lift the leg one inch higher? Hold four, three, two, one. I want you to bend the elbows and bring the arms down by your side. Give me a quick ankle roll on that right side. We're gonna come into some sliding work, so lunge work, and we're gonna mix in triceps. Your right leg is still the focus, okay? So I want the ball of your left foot on your glider. Your right foot is going to plant down on the floor in front of you. Square your hips, feet are hips distance apart. Palms face into midline, elbows bent at 90. We're gonna start with a combo. So we're gonna do a sliding back lunge. And at the bottom, you're gonna give me a tricep kickback, straightening those arms, bending at the elbows. Stamp your right foot into the floor as you come up. Now, as we slide it down, there's a big hinge forward with our torso. So think shoulders stacked over that front right knee. And up. Your right knee is staying pretty much stacked over the right heel. So this movement isn't initiated by the knee going forward, it's hips back, okay? Now coming up, we're gonna hold at the bottom. We're just gonna do that tricep kickback and we're gonna add in a knee slide with the back left knee. It'll come in and out as we hold low on the right side. So let's do that. Next time we come to the bottom, pause at the bottom, kick your arms straight. Now as you bend the elbows, left knee slides in. As you kick the arm straight, left leg goes back. Staying low on the right side, really reach your hips back. Equal length through both sides of the waist. So try to keep your hips square, we're not crunching up to one side. That means you might need to take your right hip and shift it back, left hip, shift it forward just a smidge. Notice if you're wanting to kind of rotate open to the left, that's usually what happens in this type of work. So we're trying to keep everything square. In three, you're gonna hold everything back. In two, Next time that leg goes straight, you hold in the lunge position. It's a little bend stretch through those elbows. Like you're trying to punch something behind you. You're open through the chest, long through the spine. Can you get one inch lower through the legs? Bend stretch, bend stretch, squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna hold the arm straight, 
in four, three, two, one. Hold the arm straight, lift them one inch higher, get one inch lower through the legs. Here for four, we start from the top in three, two, one. Let's bring it back up to the top, bending those elbows. Okay, we have that combo we started with. It's a back lunge slide. One tricep kick back at the bottom and then bring it up. So we're going through that one more time. We'll add in just a little extra tricep work. And then we'll do this whole thing on the other side. All right, so next time down, we do just the tricep kickback, we add in that knee slide. So you find your low lunge. As you bend the elbows, the back left knee slides in. Everything straightens out. Really reach those arms long behind you, squeeze into the triceps. We'll hold in the lunge, little bend stretch through the elbows. Next time everything extends back long, hold. And now it's a little bend stretch, bend stretch. You're open through the chest, the arms stay lifted. We're gonna hold the arm straight. It's a straight arm pulse with a pulse of the legs. In three, two, Hold the arm straight. Now it's a little pulse up, pulse up. Can you add in a lunge pulse with the arms? Everything, up an inch, down an inch. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. We hold in three, two, last pulse. Hold in your lowest lunge, lift the arms up one inch higher, squeeze them straight, square the hips. Give me four. Hold three, two, one. Woo, bring it up to the top. Awesome job, you can kind of shake it out. So we're gonna repeat that whole thing from the top on the other side. Just take a second here. These classes are an endurance challenge for sure, but in between sections, you can have a second to catch your breath. And if you need longer, this would be a good time to hit pause on that video. All right, so we're standing up tall. We're gonna spread out through the left toes, really ground down through that foot, shift weight over to our left. Arms are going to come overhead. We're gonna start with that march with the torso twist. So as you exhale, you're gonna march the right knee up. You're gonna bring left elbow woo, towards right knee. Inhale, bring it back through center. Again, you want to initiate with the breath. So start that exhale, feel your gentle core brace kick in, then move. And if this is too much, ditch one of the weights. You would ditch the weight in your left hand and you would instead just have your left hand on a wall or something for balance or a chair, okay? And you would do it like that. You're gonna give me three more. And this time when you march that knee up, you're going to stay in the march position. You're gonna untwist through the torso and rotate so that palms point forward. On an exhale, I want you to kick that right leg straight. You're gonna bend the knee as you sweep the arms down. You're gonna exhale, kick that leg forward, arms overhead. Now, as you kick the leg forward, don't tuck your tailbone under, which may mean you need to lower the leg. Maybe it kicks forward down at an angle, okay? It doesn't have to kick uh, parallel to the floor by any means. As you straighten that leg, really squeeze through your quads, top of the thigh. Try to keep your hips level as you do this. So notice if you're hiking one hip up, give me three and you're gonna hold the legs straight. Two, next time that leg goes straight, you are going to hold it straight, rotate palms face in towards each other Everything is going to lower down, heel taps floor. Exhale, everything lifts up, arms go overhead. Leg lifts up to your highest point. Four. 
Four more. Twice more, we hold the second one. Next time the leg lifts up and the arms go overhead, you hold. You're tall through the spine, open through the chest. Can you get the leg one inch higher? Hold four, three, two, one. Whoo, lower the arms down. Give me some quick ankle circles on that left side, shake it out. The lower leg has to work hard to stabilize and balance work. Okay, so the left leg is still going to be the focus but not balance work anymore. So we're gonna plant down through that left foot, ball of the right foot goes on the slider, square through the hips, bend the elbows, palms face in towards each other. We have our combo, so it's a back lunge slide, hips go back at the bottom, one tricep kick back, and then we bring it up to the top. Your feet are hips distance apart, so it's not like you're walking on a tightrope for this. Hips stay level and square. You hinge forward with the torso. So at the bottom, you're kind of making a diagonal line from the top of your head to your back heel. Stay open through the chest so the shoulders aren't rolling forward. They're back. We have our first round at the bottom coming up. We'll do just the tricep kickback and we will add in that knee slide. So next time you come to the bottom, you're gonna hold at the bottom, kick those arms straight. As the elbows bend, your right knee slides in. Reach your hips down and back. Length through the back of the neck, long through the spine, open through the chest, elbows stay lifted. Don't just swing the weights, make it intentional. Reach, lengthen through the arms. We'll hold in the low lunge with our right leg straight. We'll bend, stretch through the elbows. Next time everything goes back, hold, bend, stretch, like you're trying to punch something behind you. Stay open through the chest, get one inch lower through the legs. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. We'll take a quick hold, then we start from the top. Give me four, three, two, hold the arm straight, lift them one inch higher, get one inch lower through the legs. We start from the top with our combo in four, three, two, one, bend at the elbows, press to the top, right into it. Back lunge slide to the bottom. One tricep kick back at the bottom and then bring it up. Next time you go to the bottom, just the tricep kick back with that knee slide. Elbows bend, knee slides in, everything straightens back. You're open to the front of the chest without flaring the ribs. Really reach those hips back. Twice more. And next time everything goes straight, you hold it back, a little bend, stretch. Really reach those arms back, keep them lifted, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Now we're gonna do a straight arm pulse of the arms as we also pulse through the legs. In four, three, two, hold the arms straight. Everything pulses up and down. To create the pulse through the legs, you press your left foot into the floor. You come up an inch as the arms lift up an inch. We have one final hold in four, three, two, one. You're gonna hold the bottom, get low through the legs, lift up through the arms, reach those arms straight and long, open through the chest, you got it. Give me four, hold three, two, and one. Ooh, bring it up, march it out. Okay, so we are gonna do another sliding lunge series, but it's gonna be different. We're gonna do a warrior lunge series. 
We're going to do something different with the upper bodies. Take a second here, though, to catch your breath before we move on. Whew. So we are going to do, we'll go back to the right leg for our lunge work. It'll be in a warrior position, so we'll be open through the hips. Okay, so you're gonna mirror me. <laughs> you're gonna have your right foot planted on the floor, pointed forward. The ball of your left foot is gonna be on the glider, pointed towards me, and weights can just be at heart center to start or on your hips, whatever works for you. We're gonna do a sliding warrior lunge. So we have this open hip position. So you're gonna send the hips back and up. Now, similar to the sliding back lunge we were doing, you're thinking hips go back, torso hinges forward, so we got this nice diagonal line. But we're maintaining this open position through the legs. So as you lower down, notice what's happening to this knee. I don't want it to start buckling inward. It stays tracking in line with your middle to pinky toes, okay? So we're using our hip rotators to hold the leg in this open position. Now, this is gonna be a quicker sliding lunge series, okay? We've already done sliding lunge work. As you come up to the top, I really want you to think about engaging your adductors, your inner thighs. So as you think of coming up, think, draw those legs into midline. Now coming up, we're gonna hold at the bottom and we're gonna rotate our pelvis around the stationary right side. Give me one more. And the next time you come to your, the bottom of your warrior lunge, I want you to pause. I want you to open up through the arms. Now we're gonna square things off. So I want you to take this left hip and I want you to start peeling it forward, squaring off the hips into a back lunge, arms parallel. And then we're gonna kind of do a single arm fly on this left side as we peel the left hip open and open up. Keep going like that. So that right knee is staying stable. It's not wobbling around. We are rotating the pelvis around this thigh. Now, next time you open up into that warrior, hold it open and just do a reverse slide, both arms in and fly them open. Now, if it's too tough to do this with your left heel lifted, plant your left heel down so you have a more firm base and so that you can shift weight into that left foot and so that all the stability work is not on the right side. It's gonna be harder if you keep that heel lifted, okay? Up to you. You're gonna give me three. We start from the top in two, last fly, Bring those weights to heart center. We start from the top of that lunge up and down. Woo. So we're going to go through that same sequence one more time and then we'll just add in a little bit of an obliques finisher. Okay. Just one move at the end. So next time you go to the bottom, you're gonna hold. Slide those hips back, open up through the arms, and we rotate squaring off through the pelvis, and then peeling it open, mirroring me. So we are connected to our mid-back on this. Those shoulder blades are gliding in towards each other as the arms open up. We're open through the chest, but without flaring the ribs. Give me just two more. And next time you open up into that warrior lunge, stay open in the warrior lunge, fly the arms. So as the arms open up, think retract the shoulder blades. We're gonna do a little bit of oblique work. And if your left heel is not down, I want you to bring it down and off the glider, okay? So it's on the floor so you have a stable base. In two, next time the arms open up, hold. All right, now level one, you're gonna take this left arm, reach it overhead. If you wanna make this harder, you're gonna bring the right arm overhead as well. It's a little crunch, little oblique curl up, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, hold in three, two, one. I want you to hold, lift your left heel, 
Reach the arms forward, get one inch lower on that right side. Hold four, three, two, one. Bring it up, Ooh, shake it out. Some shoulder rolls, pedal through the knees. Awesome job. So we're gonna do that whole thing on the other side and then we're done with sliding work, okay? After we do this on the left leg, we're gonna finish off by centering with some arm work with the weights. Legs will be off the hook and there'll be no more gliding. Ooh, so take a couple more deep breaths. Okay, so our setup, left foot, you're mirroring me, left foot is going to be planted on the floor. Your feet make a 90 degree angle, okay? So the right foot is pointing towards me, left toes pointing to the side. We're gonna lift this back right heel, weights can start at chest. And let's go into that sliding back lunge. Even though class is all low impact and it's slower controlled movements, your heart rate really gets up, especially in Pilates slide classes, because it is that continual movement, pretty much. I mean, I'm giving you some breathers, but it really is one thing to the next. So it's an endurance challenge. Now the exact rotation of your hips and your chest in this, it's going to be up to you and I want you to do what feels best for your body. For some people, it might feel best to stay open through the hips, but kind of rotate your chest over the front knee. If that works for you, do it. For some of you, it may feel better to stay open through the chest. And by open through the chest, I just mean angled to the side instead of angled forward. As you come up, think inner thigh engagement, okay? So you're gonna stamp your left foot into the floor and you're gonna think, draw those legs in towards each other. Give me one more full range rep and then we're gonna hold at the bottom. Next time you go to that low warrior lunge, you're going to hold, you're gonna open up through the arms. Now let's take this right hip and let's square it off, pulling it in line with the left. And then we open up, kind of doing this single arm fly on the right side. Whole body rotates open and square it off. So you're staying stable through this left knee. It's not caving inward, keep it tracking in line with your middle to pinky toe, not inside of the big toe. It's a great challenge for stability and control within the hip joint here. Twice more. Next time you open up into that warrior, you hold. Hold the warrior, fly the arms. This is going to be harder for the legs if you keep your right heel lifted so that your left side is doing all the support. You can drop your right heel down for a little bit more of a supported base where weight can be shifted into the right leg as well. As you open up through the arms, shoulder blades retract in. Give me four, three, start from the top in two, one, hands to heart center, Sliding warrior lunge, right heels lifted. You got it one more time through the sequence and then we are done with sliding work and we're done with legs. Next time you lower down, you're gonna hold. So let's come to that low lunge, hold, open up through the arms, and we do those pelvis rotations, squaring off our lunge and opening to our warrior. Stay long through the spine, opening those arms up and squaring off. Give me four, three, two. And the next time you open up into that warrior lunge, you hold open in the warrior lunge, just the arms. 
we're going to finish with obliques, either one arm overhead or harder, both arms overhead. It'll be that little crunch targeting the right side obliques in four, three, you're so close, two, arms open up, pause, maybe one arm goes overhead, maybe both, little oblique crunch. If it's too much with the arms overhead, do it with hands at heart center for eight, seven, six, five, hold in four, three, two, one, hold, get one inch lower through the legs, lift your back heel, reach the arms, open through the chest. You're here for four, three, two, one, bring it up. Oh, awesome job. Okay, so we are done with the slider. You still need the hand weights. We're gonna finish with a little upper body work and then you are done, we cool it down. So we're gonna start this series with something that feels good, okay? So elbows bent, palms face in towards midline. We're gonna do a lateral rotation, opening up, keeping the elbows in tight, just peeling the forearms open. And as you do, I want you to find a little spinal extension. So open up the chest, gaze shifts up. Now we're gonna exhale, we're gonna bring those forearms parallel and then we're gonna reach the arms forward and we're just gonna round forward. So we're getting a little spinal flexion. Stack the spine up tall to neutral as the elbows pull in and inhale, open it up. And just keep moving like this. So we're getting a little extension and flexion as we reach the arms forward and then open it up. Give me twice more like this. Last time. And this time when you stack the spine up tall and do the lateral rotation, don't come into extension. Keep the spine neutral and just focus on the lateral rotation. Peeling the forearms apart, keeping the elbows in close to your side or open through the chest. And your shoulder blades are kind of gently down and back. So targeting the rotator cuff here. So we're gonna go through a series that is focused mostly on the shoulders to finish up. Upper body has already gotten some love throughout this flow, but we're just gonna really target it to finish. Also kind of serves to center everything off because all of that sliding work was unilateral. Give me four, three, two. Last time, then hold with the forearms parallel, and now it's a bent raise. So you maintain the 90 degree bend of the elbow, the shape of the arms. You just lift the whole thing up, winging it up and out to the side. As you do this, you're getting upward rotation of your shoulder blades. Give me four, we'll hold the top in three, two. Next time those elbows lift up, you're going to hold. Now we're going to reach the arms forward. And as we do, I want you to rotate palms face up. Now we're going to rotate palms down to the floor as you bend the elbows and row them back. So the arms are staying lifted. You just reach them forward and back. Now, as we go through this arm series, if you notice that you are starting to arch into your lower back and feel pressure there, you might want to take a kickstand position with the feet. So the ball of one foot would step behind the other. You want to be unlocked through the knees, tall through the spine, neutral through the pelvis. You're going to hold with those arms forward and palms up to the ceiling. So next time those arms reach forward, palms stay up. You're going to open the arms wide, bring them back to center. Reverse fly, shoulder blades retract in as the arms open up, center. We'll finish with the arms out to the side for a little bend stretch of the elbows with a flip the cup, palms face up and down. Next time the arms go wide, hold them. Bend, stretch, flip, bend, stretch, flip. We're gonna go through this series one more time. We'll start from the top with that feel good movement, the flexion and extension. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Elbows in, palms face in. So we laterally rotate, open up through the chest, Reach the arms forward as you round forward. One more time through this series, and then we cool it down. Give me just one more like this, and then we'll do just that lateral rotation. So next time the spine stacks up tall, hold it at neutral, just the lateral rotation. 
So as the arms open up, the ribs don't flare. If you like this type of work, uh, upper body work with light hand weights, I would also recommend trying out my arm song workouts. They make for a fun workout finisher. They're quick and they're to the beat of the music. One more time, hold with the forearms parallel and then from here we go into our bent raise, lifting and lowering. Especially if you have cranky shoulders, rotator cuff issues, uh, rounded forward posture, whatever it may be. It's nice to do shoulder work using lighter weights and really get the movement down before doing heavy lifting for the shoulders. Last two, next time the elbows go up, hold and it's that row with that rotation, palms up, palms down. As you draw the elbows back, the shoulder blades also slide in towards each other without jutting your neck forward. So stay tall and long through the back of your neck. Give me four, three, starting to feel a little burn here. Two, last time, hold with those palms facing up. You open and close. Try not to drop the arms. If you're feeling pressure in your lower back and that pelvis is starting to dump forward, Take a staggered stance. We're gonna hold with the arms wide to the side, but not so wide that we flare the ribs. So you can see the hands in your peripheral vision in four, three, two. Next time the arms go out, you hold them. This is where you finish. Then stretch with that flip of the cuff. You got it, then stretch, then stretch. We cool it down in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the arms down, awesome job. So let's finish class kind of the same way we started with that shoulder roll open and then that shoulder roll forward as we nod the chin and round the spine coming into a forward fold, unlocking through the knees, roll it up to stand, open up to the chest and then bring it forward. Uh, Next time you come into that forward fold, let's stay in that forward fold. Let's pedal out through the knees. You can hang on to the weights for this, or you can just place them on the floor up to you. We're going to stay in this forward fold for a second and just get a nice release through the upper spine in three, two, one. I just want you to settle into this forward fold soft through the knees, and then you can put the weights down, interlace your fingers, and hang your arms at the base of your skull. So we're creating this traction here through the back of our neck. And you're just gonna stay here and breathe and with every exhale, think of melting into it. Inhale, feel expansion in your mid back. Exhale, release and melt. Now if this is too intense, with your hands hooked on the base of your skull, then grab opposite elbow with the opposite hand and just hang in that position. I'm someone who tends to hold a lot of tension in my neck and shoulders, so I love this position. Just when you use this as a moment to tune into how your body is feeling, don't overthink the breathing. When you're ready, you can release the arms, let them hang down. And we're gonna come up to stand very slowly, okay? We've been in this forward fold for a little bit, so we got some blood up in our head. I don't want you to feel lightheaded, so very slowly, we're gonna start to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Stacking the spine up tall. Roll open through the shoulders. Let's finish with a couple breaths here. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, let them go. Again, inhale up. And exhale, let them go. And that is your class. Awesome job today. I hope you're feeling good after that. I always feel so energized after a Pilates class. 
If you enjoyed this format, again, it's my Pilates slide format. I have a lot of other classes like this. Not all of them are all standing, though. Most of them you mix mat work with sliding standing work. Um, if this was a little too intense on the endurance challenge, I would recommend my Pilates and mat classes. That is more of a traditional Pilates flow. Some of them do incorporate sliders, um, but most of them no props or different props. All right, thanks for working out with me today, and I'll see you next time.